You gotta help me. I'm losing my mind. Keep getting the feeling you wanna leave this all behind. Thought we were going strong. Hello, my name is Ari, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create screen bumps slash pumps in iMovie. So I hope you enjoy. This is kind of a mediocre tutorial because it is in iMovie, but nevertheless, here we go. Okay, so pretty much you're going to want to create a new movie and then import all of your clips, which is pretty simple. You just click the import media button. After that, just drag your clips into your timeline and start trimming them so you get the right size that you want and the right clip that I guess you want to bump or whatever. So after you have your clip, you want to split it. To split it, you just click control and click once. And then this box will pop up and you can just click split clip from there. Also, just as a side note, you want to make sure the clip on the left is larger than the clip on the right when you split it. From there, you want to go to the little crop icon at the top of the iMovie screen. And then just click Ken Burns. After that, you take the start box and adjust it however you want. And then take the inbox and leave it as is. Don't move the inbox, just move the start box. Click on your other clip and do the exact same thing. Go to the crop, go to Kim Burns, and then adjust the end box this time instead of adjusting the start box and leave the start box as is. This is pretty much what it'll look like once you're done doing those two things. Personally for me, I don't like it when it goes that slow, so I just speed up both of my clips. To do that, just go to the speed sign in the top of the iMovie screen and click fast. Do that for both of your clips and you're pretty much done. This is what it looked like after I was done with both of those things. After that, simply just add some music and you're good to go. You're done with the first version of how to do screen bumps. Okay, now onto the second version. I used different clips for this version, so that's why it's just different, but um, it's a little bit more time consuming, but I think it's worth it, so stick with me and I'll show you the other way to make screen bumps. For this version, all you do is pretty much just split your clip into really small clip. I kind of just eyeball it, but um, if you want a more definite way of telling, I guess, you could do 0.1 seconds if the clip is like one second long, and if the clip is multiple seconds long, then just do one second clips, if that makes any sense. Alright, then select all your clips by clicking Command A. That will select all of them for you. And you're going to go back up to that same crop icon. And then to Ken Burns again. Alright, from there just take the inbox and position it wherever you want. You can choose. And then click Done. In the end, this is pretty much what it should look like. It kind of reminds me of pulsing, but the shorter that you cut your clips, the faster it'll go. So if you want it to go really fast, then yeah. So these are the two together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a like, a comment, or a subscribe. I might make another tutorial on for something else again. So let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Bye. Thanks so much for watching.